You are watching Deer in Nature 9611. So the bugs have calmed down a bit on the property. They're not quite as bad. Now this particular deer, he, she, looks pregnant. They're a little buggy. He, he, she's wagging her tail. Oops, we just lost the bucket that we brought some scraps up for the deer. <clears throat> Now, yesterday I got a very small video um, uh, with, a, with the fawn, the new fawn of the season. This is really early for having fawns, but uh, one of the mothers has given birth. And she will not let me near, like, a lot more feet. Right now I'm about five feet away from this particular deer. The, the mother that just had the fawn... I was like 20, 30 feet away and I couldn't get any closer, but I do have a short video out on it. It's not clear as the ones I normally take. And so we will be having some fawns uh, very soon. As soon as the fawn is a couple of months old or a month old, the mother is um, a lot more welcoming of the fawn on my property or near the property. But I think this fawn was just born the other day as it was so tiny. I normally see them when they're a little bit bigger. So I was uh, happy to get that short, quick <clears throat> little video, but uh, was, was, it's not good quality, unfortunately. But we will be having lots of fawns this summer. This particular deer here is pregnant, so she will be giving birth at some point as well. And uh, as I had said in other videos, a lot of the deer have twins. Now, the mother that gave birth only had one fawn with her, so she only gave birth to one. But for some reason, I'd say at least 80% of the females that get pregnant seem to have twins, in, at least in this area. I mean, I'm sure it's not common everywhere, but it is surprising how many twins come out of these fawns. Or, sorry, out of the deer, uh, the, the does. <laughs> and, uh, and they produce two fawns at a time. And they're not always the same sex either. Sometimes it's a, you know, a buck and a, and a doe. And sometimes it's the same sex. So it's really interesting when they produce the, the different fawns. And they're so cute. They have different personalities. Some of them are like very friendly and not afraid of you. And then in the same family. So the one fawn would be very friendly and the other fawn would be petrified of me. It's really quite interesting to, um, to be surrounded in nature with all the deer and how they live and and um, and their personalities because they all have their own personalities as well so and there is a salt block there for her but again as i said in previous videos all you have to do is go across the street here and it's a one lane street it's not a two lane it's not a highway um, the only cars that come down it are about four because we're the only ones who live down here the rest of them live um, up up further on the street so to cross the road they have to, you know they just have to cross this little path and there's a complete running stream of water that's available for them 24-7 uh, and it's flowing so it's good drinking water for them and for the fawns and you will see a lot more fawns across the road area because they're over there where the water is so but again I'm really hoping for a new video uh, maybe that mother will come out and I can get a video of her and her fawn um, soon. We're looking forward to that. In the meantime, this particular <coughs> doe is happy to get some scraps and uh, isn't enjoying them. And there's no other deer around today, so I'm, it's a beautiful day. I'm not sure where all the deer are. Lots of time I have three, four, or five deer on my property. I do know why one fawn or one mother deer doe isn't on the property. She's with her, her fawn. But other than that, um, yeah, I'm not sure where all the deer are right now, but it's, uh, it's okay. We have one here that's come to visit and was eating um, the grass on the property. And I thought, well, I might as well give her the scrappings that I had from last night because, I mean, you don't need any bins around here. You can just feed them to the animals. So it works out for both of us, you know. <clears throat> So she's eating potatoes um, and carrots 
The salary's there, and I'm not sure if she's going to eat it. Yeah, they do like salary, but not every deer likes salary. They, they have their own taste buds and stuff as well. Because there's a piece of salary right here that's been up here. And the deer, well, see, it was going a, a little bit wilty for me, so I put it out for the deer. But um, this deer didn't eat that. So, and she still has a piece of uh, salary over there, so she might not enjoy the salary. But deer do eat salary. But they have preferences, just like we do. It's nice and cool back here in the bush. It is sunny out. It's a beautiful sunny day, as you can see from up there. But this keeps them cool down in the summer months. This particular area here has got a lot of rock on it as well. And because of the rock, it stays cooler. So, and there's a big cliff over there. One day I'll take you over to the cliff. It's all fenced off, so nobody goes down that cliff. Even, you know, they, the deer can't fall down it. They do have a, a, a wire fence around it. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it goes straight down, and it is a, a big, big, huge rock. Like, we are on rocks here. And... Uh, some areas don't have rocks, but I have loads of big glacier rocks on my property, at least up this hill area and stuff. And there's lots around other areas close by as well. Thank you for watching. You are watching Deer in Nature 9611. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe as you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, especially as it is now fawn season coming up. And they are so cute.